it's recording. And here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Bo Madruga with the old uh, Spartan Race shirt on. Good to see everybody. Oh, I got so many cameras, so many tech here. This is an analog job. There's too much tech. All right, folks. We're all muted. We're all good. I'm tap. I'm uh, pinned. So here we go. Let's get this going. Let's get this show on the road. Let's start with a head circle, shall we? Let's do that. And we'll just check in, see how the body's doing today, right? Start the clock. Take things in a nice, easy circle. Feel when you do this that the hip joints, the pelvis, right, moves around the heads of the femurs, right? That's a hard thing to, to sense there, but what we're looking for is mobilization of the pelvis around those Those bones, right? The tops of those bones, the heads of those. It's good. Now get a little squeeze of the glutes as you come forward. A little squeeze there. Let's go back the other way once again. Squeeze glutes, squeeze glutes. Squeeze them up. There we go. Good, nice job. Good, take the arms here. Take a breath in. Reach up, come down. Repeat. Reach up. Nice energy coming out. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out, in in. And out, in in. Couple more out, in in. There we go, walk the feet in just a little bit, and take it into a nice, easy, sagittal plane arm swing here. Sagittal plane, forward and back. Gone over this plane thing quite a few times. Forward and back is the sagittal plane. Sagittal meaning like the arrow shooter. Like archery, big archery. Good, now take those arms in opposition. Let me add just a little bit of transverse. So feel how the shoulders are now rotating relative to the hips. So we have a little rotation, which is the transverse plane, the rotational. Now why do I harp on these planes so much? Well, the body moves in three planes of motion. Now take it here, right? And if all we ever do is one plane, most people exercise in the sagittal plane, forward and back. So think about a run. If you're running, walking, that's mostly a sagittal plane movement, it's forward and back. If you're always working the sagittal plane, life will throw at you some weird rotational movement or some frontal plane movement, and you don't know how to deal with it. And then you fall over and you get injured. Take the shoulders in a circle. So part of what we're doing is we're preparing you for the game of life. Big shoulders going back. Don't go the other way. So life is going to throw at you these multi-planar moves. So you might as well prep for them when you exercise. Good. Big circles, big circles, big circles. All right, good. Got to do it. Golf grip. Extend the arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Take those circles going forward. Ha! Ah, keep those shoulder blades squeezed as you work that. Squeeze together. Now go back. Take the thumbs. Go back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Make the circles going backward. Squeezily squeeze, squeezily squeeze, squeezily squeeze. Then thumbs go down, elbows open. Now keep those, those hands close to your head, right? This is one that I, I've said, I fall off the wagon on this one. The arms come down. I don't want that. We want them close in. So I want us to feel the knuckles against your ears. So you really get into the rhomboids, the mid trap, mid and lower trap. Shoulder blade, spot between the shoulder blade. So that we anti-slouch here, right? Good, leave that alone. Good. Let's take the head left and right. Now, if you're feeling good, you can slide the arms a little bit down, down, down. Slide the arms down the outside of the thighs. My back is just a little tweaky, so I'm gonna limit that. So I'm just showing you guys that you need to modify things, forward and back. based on how you're doing on a given day. <coughs> Forward and back. Is that cough? Now circle. Now again, if I was feeling 100%, I would do a full circle here that would involve my whole spine. But 
I'm going to lock things down a little bit here because because my back's a little jacked up today. Go the other way. You haven't already. All right, nice job, good. So let's take the um, feet, walk far back so you guys can see what I'm doing. Tilt those feet to the outside and to the inside. <sighs> Let me just jump on there. My aging eyes cannot see if someone has jumped on there. Look like they did. Saturdays are big days. At boot camp, circle now one foot, pressing down through that foot, mobilizing all those many, many joints in the feet so that they're happy and that they know all these different movements they can do. So life throws at you some weird movement where you go like that, ah, you can compensate, you can make it work. You can work with it. Let's go to the other foot now, circle. Let's go the other way. I don't make a big distinction between athletes and non-athletes, right? Life is physical enough already. We don't all need to be running backs to encounter weird physical challenges in our lives. All right, here we go. Step it out. Boy here. Yeah, that's a sentiment from, what's his name? Dr. Eric Cobb. Dr. Eric Cobb said, you know, some people are track athletes. Some people are corporate executive athletes. Some people are parent athletes. All athletes. So, let's get our bodies ready for all those different things that life demands of us. Heel to butt, heel to butt, heel to buttock, heel to buttock. Externally rotate, stay tall. Stay tall as you do this, right? Don't go down to get your leg, bring your leg up to get you. Leg up to get you. Nice pull each time, stay tall, stay tall. Nice and strong. Keep that integrity between the shoulders and the hips. Not a lot of twisting here. So sometimes, sometimes the, uh, you can have a multiplanar movement that's about resisting action, rotational action. So for instance, when we do this one, extending forward, it looks very sagittal because I'm on this forward backward plane, but I am resisting movement that's um, rotating me or bringing me side to side. So that, even though this looks uniplane or one plane, because I'm single leg, there's a lot of stuff I have to do to keep myself in that single plane. That makes sense. Extend those arms forward. Make yourself long, long line between that back foot and the arms. Long line. Keep it going. You can see that my left leg is feeling a little gimpy here. Bring that back. All right, get a couple more of those. A couple more of those. One and two. There we go. Yep, extending those arms out long. And once you're done with that, just give me a little jump. Just a wee jump here. Light. Shoulders are loose. Go ahead and let's shake out the wrist. Let's get that going. Why not? Up and down. Man, it's humid today. Left and right. This shirt's going to be soaked in about 40 minutes. About 30 minutes. Left and right, just a touch. Right? Okay, let's take it and jump, Jack. Why not? One, two, three, four. And five, let's go just a little faster. One, two, three, four. And five, and let's go a little faster. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice job. Should be nice and loose, should be warming up. Yes, very good. Jeffrey Gimble is here, it's awesome. Good to see you, Jeffrey. Okay, take a quick drink of water. And then we'll move on to the good stuff. It's 8.10, so it's at a perfect time here. 30 minutes to go. 30 minutes of good work here. Okay. So we're going to start in all fours here a little bit. I'm going to slowly build this up, okay? 
So starting off fours, and first thing, we just cat cow a little bit. So round it up, and when you do that, breathe in. And when you come back to the other one, breathe out. Breathe in one way, and breathe out the other way. Breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. As you do this, pay attention to the spot between your shoulder blade. So make sure that that part of the spine is also moving, right? Don't leave the thoracic spine. Good, okay. We're gonna take it into a hard style plank here, folks. Hard style plank. So look at your hands. Make sure that the index fingers are pointing forward and up. The other fingers are spread, splayed out from that. Drop your elbows to the ground. Look at your forearms. Make sure they are parallel to one another. The upper arms should be vertical, okay? Then go ahead and kick your legs back. Take the pelvis, tuck it under, right? So we don't want a big arch in the back. Take the head, draw it back. Push your elbows down. Push the floor away from you with your elbows. And push your back to the sky. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze. Hold the floor with your elbows and your feet, right? So pull the floor together with your elbows and your feet and hold that hard style plank Give me 20 seconds on this, okay? 20 more seconds. Get that back kind of rounded up. Shorten this area, fold the floor, collapse the floor between your feet and your elbows. Now, obviously, that, that you're gonna stay isometric, right? We're not actually gonna move, but that's the idea, crush the floor. Good, three, two, one, stop, good. Let's take it over to the back. Take it over onto the old back here. So, let's go dead butt. Uh, knees here, 90-90, right? Hands in bench press position. You can lay the head down if you want to, that's cool. Then go arm opposite leg, right? Arm opposite leg, arm opposite leg. Keep working through that, alternating sides. So this, this whole torso stays very still, right? We don't, we, we keep that integrity. We, we don't rotate and we don't crunch down on, on, on each side. We go arm opposite leg. The opposite, the non-moving hand and leg stay completely still in space, right? We don't move. So it's like we're not doing this with a hand, right? The hand is staying stationary, okay? Keep working. We's almost there. Give me... Five seconds, three, two, one. Stop, good. Come back to all fours. Come back to all fours. We're gonna mobilize the hips a little bit. Let's get nice and long with the spine, right? Neutral with the spine, okay? Let's take one leg, kick that leg back, toe is toward the ground, bring it to the outside, and let's keep going that direction, mobilizing that hip. Keep the arms long. Pay close attention to that back foot. We want to really focus on movement integrity today. Good form, right? Intensity and integrity. Good, leave it alone. Now let's go knee to chest, to the outside, circling. Chest, side, circle. Three, four, just keep working on mobilizing that hip. Five, good, let's switch to the other side. Now we kick back to that side, get on the horse. Back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five. Other way, now knee goes to the outside. I draw a big circle. So it's toward the ground when that foot is to the back. Toward the ground, right? And five, nice job, good, okay. Let's return to that hard style plank, okay? So hands on the ground, index fingers pointing forward, other fingers splayed out from those. Elbows down, look at the elbows and the forearms, make sure they are parallel. Shoot the legs back, push up style position, press the floor away from you with your elbows. Drag the floor together with your feet and elbows. Hold that, draw the head back, hold that. Give me a nice strong 20 seconds in that hard style plank. Starting right now. Nice and solid through that whole abdominal region, right? Again, push that floor away from you with your elbows. 
draw the floor together with your elbows and your feet, like you're trying to fold it together, okay? And hold that five more seconds. Three, two, one. Good, let's come back to the back. Let's dead bug this once again, okay? So this, this, this session, we're really focusing on those details of form, right? So we're getting the right muscles activated. We're doing exactly, we're working with exact form as opposed to just flailing around intensely for no reason. 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. Arms vertical. Go ahead and lay the head, lay the head down. Kick one leg out, opposite arm. This arm is still, this leg is still. Then back, opposite. If everything's getting confused, just do the legs. Just do the legs. The other thing you can do, just keep this bend here and tap. Tap, okay? Tap. Okay, keep working. Give me about 20 more seconds here. Alternating sides, nice and strong, okay? Nice and strong. Just working core today in this, uh, in this initial section. A little core, a little bit of glute. It's all good. Good, give me 10 seconds. Maybe 10 seconds, alternating sides, nice and strong. Keep that lower back on the ground. Very important. Lower back stays in contact with the ground, right? Three, two, one, stop. Good. Okay, let's go back. All fours once again. So now we do once again a little bit of glute. So kick one leg straight back. Give me five straight up and down. Focus on that glute. Four, five. Now bring the leg out to the side. Pop it up and down here in this angle. Two, three, four. Five, then straight back again. One, two, three, four, five. Then out to the 45. One, two, three, four, five. One more series, straight back. One, two, three, four, five. End of the 45. One, two, good, four, five. Okay, switch to the other leg once again. Get the old Brazilian booty lift here. Three, Four, five, 45. One, two, three, four, five. Now back. One, simple, toe to the ground. Three, four, five. Arms straight. One, two, three, four, five. One more series. Two, three, four, five. And then 45. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Here we go. Last one, let's go to the back. All right, going to the back. This time, let's go legs long. Now again, if you're, if you're still, if you're feeling like, okay, I can barely take any more of my stomach, just go like this and tap alternately, alternately down, okay? If people want just a little more intensity, go ahead and extend the legs up, arms overhead, lower down as far as you can, then come up and touch, okay? Lower down as far as you can, close to the ground, again, my back's a little tweaky today, so I'm not going to go all the way down, all right? I'm going to take care of myself. And I recommend you guys do the same thing. If you're like, oh, something hurts a little bit, do the easier version, okay? Keep going. 20 seconds on this one, right? So, again, you're feeling good? Bring those legs very close to the ground. Just make sure you keep those little, that lower back on the ground. Not feeling good? Bend the legs, alternate sides, okay? Keep, keep going. Give me five seconds on this, and then... We'll finish. Three, two, one, done. Nice job. Good. Come on up. Here we got the core and the glutes fired up. Two of the most important parts of the body today. We got about 20 more minutes to go. We're going to do a little more work on the feet now, right? So we're not just going to spend the whole workout uh, on the ground. I'm starting to sweat quite a bit today. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is uh, working out outside today. But man, we got that LA humidity. And of course, the entire state is on fire. Blessings out to the uh, firefighters out there and everybody who's in danger of those fires. So we're gonna work with a reverse lunge, alternating sides, and then we're gonna toss in a little squat in between. So we're gonna go squat, squat, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, okay? We're gonna do it a little bit of out of order. So one leg goes back, we step back. The other leg steps back. That's the reverse lunge. When this leg steps forward, we take it into a squat stance. So it's about shoulder width, slightly turned out, okay? Two squats here. Okay, then the leg that, that most recently came up goes back, go back, then I step into that squat stance, double squat, okay? 
That's our move. Let's keep that going. Alternating sides, squat, squat. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, squat, squat. So at this point, you guys should be pretty good at getting that reverse lunge in, right? That stepping back business, right? That's important to get a nice, get a long stride going back. If you're still uncomfortable with that, you know, you can lean on this front leg. You can hold on to it if you need to. That's cool, all right? But you should be now pretty good at like being able to feel, all right, where's that point on the ground behind me that is, that is appropriate for that deep lunge, okay? Keep working. Get those double squats, right? And we do our squats, keep the chest up, right? Again, work with that image. You're zipping up that coat, and it keeps your, um, your torso nice and long, okay? So don't round over when you do those squats. Keep that chest high and proud when you do those squats. As low as you can, trying to get the hip crease below the knee. We're getting there. Give me about five more seconds to go. Nice and strong. Keep going. And that's done. Good job. That's one minute of squat, squat, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. That's pretty darn good. Okay. So we're going to work with, now we're going to work with uh, a push-up variation. Okay. So uh, what I would say is, again, as always, elevate your hands if you need to on a bed, on a chair, on a, uh, a table, something very stable. Okay. If you, um, if you can hang with normal push-ups, uh, just do hands on the ground. I'm going to show you a little variation here, and it's slight, okay? Instead of going, we're going to go a little bit narrower than normal. Now, I usually recommend a hand spread out from shoulder width. I'm going to do a little less than half a hand spread out. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the hands a little bit back, right? So the, the arms are going to be more angled a little forward like that, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to think when I come down, I'm going to find body's going to come forward, and then when I come back, it's going to go back a little. So forward and then back, okay? The trajectory of my arm should be this way a little bit, that way a little bit, as opposed to straight down. Just a slight change in the angle, okay? So work with that however you can, again, on the floor, on an elevated surface, whatever you can, but I want you to think a little bit forward, a little bit forward and up as you push, okay? Give me about 10 more seconds on this. Again, the body comes forward and then here. Forward. It's just a little bit different as far as the, how we're working those fibers, okay? It's not a total revolution, but things are just a little bit different the way we're working it. Good. Let's stop right there. Good. Grab your dumbbells. Grab your dumbbells. We're going to do Dracula dumbbell curls here, okay? Also known as rotational dumbbell curl. So here we go. Spread the feet kind of wide. Take this around. Nice contraction of the bicep. Then around here. Nice contraction of the biceps. So we got to do some rotational work here, okay? And this is a great way to do it because this is typically, go ahead and start. This is typically a, uh, an isolation move, right, where we're just working the biceps. But if we add this rotational action to it, then we get some hip in there. We get some torso in there. We get some proprioception, some more information coming into the nervous system. And that's great, right? Another way of working. And we always want variety. We always want to mix things up. All right. Keep going. Let's do this one for another 15 seconds. Get that rotation, right? Now, as you rotate, don't come down, right? Stay pretty vertical. Think about, again, you're working that cape. You're bringing that cape around. Whoa, like Dracula, Batman. I don't know. You guys have to read more comic books, I guess, in order to really get this. All right, good. Enough with that. Dumbbells to the side. Or if you want to do dumbbells in your squat, squat, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, you can do that too. So if you want a little bit of weight, you can do that. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started. Take a breath. We're going to do one minute, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, squat, squat. Here we go. Take it back. Take it back. And then back to that wide stance, double squat. Then I take it back. I take it back. I go wide stance, squat, squat. Okay? Start with a different leg every time. Right? And if you screw it up and you go, okay, I did two rights in a row, then two, do two lefts in a row. Right? Just don't always go left leg, right leg, squat, squat. Right? We always want to be thinking... Well, I want to be able to move one way. I want to be able to move the other way. We always have habitual movements in life. We always, I'm a left-handed, right? So I'm always reaching with my left hand. Yes, that's great. But then we don't want to always be reinforcing that in the anatomy and sort of laying down those, those um, patterns all the time. Okay? We're getting there. Getting there on this. Give me about another 10 seconds on this. Squat, squat, reverse, squat, squat, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, chest up high. Feel that winter coat, keeping your torso nice and square and solid. Good. Three, two, one. Leave that alone. Okay, we're going back to push-ups now. Remember that J-style push-up, just a little bit 
forward as we push, okay? Hands elevated if you need it. No big deal. I would say don't do feet elevated on this one because you're just learning this new trajectory. Let's go a little bit longer this time, okay? So here we go. Take it forward and down. Forward, back and up. Forward, recovery, okay? Push-ups are difficult. This adds just a little bit more intensity to it. Push the strain a little bit more where we want it in the chest, okay? And it's just a new and different kind of thing we haven't done before, okay? So keep her going. Give me about 10 more seconds. Like I said, we're gonna go a little bit longer. Here's gonna be 40 seconds instead of a 30 second set. So push-ups are tough. So I recognize that. Good, there's three, two, one, enough, good. Dumbbells, and now we get our famous rotational curl, okay? Nice wide stance here. Here we go, let's take it around. Rotate and squeeze the biceps at the top. Rotate, squeeze the biceps. Now when this arm comes back, look, it's gonna be long behind me. When it's here, it's gonna be long behind me. Now I don't wanna use like a ton of momentum here, right? It's like slow-mo, okay? So do not um, swing the dumbbells, okay? We wanna be, we wanna keep tension on those muscles the whole time, but we're doing this nice rotational movement, teaching the body how to integrate hips and shoulders, all right? Stay strong. Give me about 20 more seconds. Alternating sides, we got some shoulder in here. We got some biceps in here. It's a very, um, what do we say? It's a functional full body movement. How are we doing? 8.27, 13 minutes to go. Good, let's leave that alone. Let's get our third and final set on this one. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, squat, squat. Final one, now look, final set, right? Third set, best set, okay? So if you've been feeling like, hey, that wasn't so hard, lean into it a little bit more, get a little more speed, a little more depth, a little more intensity here, okay? Last set, we wanna really dig in here, okay? So here we go, let's get started. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, squat, squat. Now that leg that went up last goes first now. Squat and squat. How don't just they keep flying right through that, okay? Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, squat, squat. This is the hardest move we're gonna do all day. This is the hardest 30 more seconds that we're gonna do all day. So lean into it, right? Go into that fire. Again, exercise is a chance to butt up against your limitations. You know, in 30, 45 seconds, you can hit against those limitations and push them and make yourself better, okay? It's very easy, but there's a kind of epic heroic quality to it, even though it's just you exercising, right? So invest, right? Okay, give me about 10 more seconds here. Go for it, go hard, all right? Last few seconds here, go into it. Even if the legs are hurting, insist on that good form. Keep that integrity, that torso, keep going. Five seconds. I know I keep extending, but too bad. Three, two, one, stop, good. Good job, good, that was one minute. That's it, we're done with those guys. Okay, uh, back to push-ups, here we go. Find your push-up position. Bring those hands a little more underneath you than normal. Here we go, we do a 40 second set here. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Take it down, push up and back. Take it down, push up and back. As you work, keep those stomach muscles tight so we're not sagging with the hips. The hips, the chest, the head, the heels, stay in one solid line. We're a nice plank with that body, okay? We're pushing back and forward, back and forward with those arms. Keep the body nice and strong, even though we're tired, even though if this is our third set, okay? You wanna lean into it with just a little more intensity, a little more grit, a little more power, a little more speed, okay? Hello, Instagram people. Karen, my old friend from Ultra Body Fitness who's now in DC. God love you, I hope you're doing well. All right, keep going, give me about 10 more seconds here. Push back, yes. Get strong here. Three, two, one, good job. Okay, here's the one that is our palate cleanser here. A little less intense than the first two moves. Get that nice wide stance, take the dumbbell, rotational curl, rotational curl, rotational curl. Keep it going, okay? Keep the, that elbow high. You wanna feel like you're squeezing those biceps at the top, right? We do wanna be rotating, turning, supinating that hand, right? So feel like this portion of the dumbbell, the pinky side of the dumbbell, is coming toward your face. Don't hit yourself in the face. But that's what we want, rotate, yeah? Also, you know, don't, uh, don't crank on the wrists too much. You wanna feel, okay, I'm twisting that arm 
and that's going to get a little more contraction than those biceps, which is what we want. A nice hard contraction there. Even though this is a full body move, we do want to complete it with a nice, uh, nice tweak in the bicep. Good. Let's keep going. 10 more seconds of this, then we take a brief break before our last sequence here. Good. There's three, two, one, zero. Good job. Okay. Well done, everybody. Go ahead and grab yourself a drink of water. This is good. Do our last sequence here. We got to do some back, maybe a little triceps, maybe a little gluteals. We'll see how we do. Okay. So <clears throat> let's work like this. Let's work like this. So we got our dumbbells, right? Let's do the RDL into the row, which you've done before, but we'll do the RDL into the row with uh, with um, do doing one side and then the other, which I'll show you. So. Find your perfect stance, parallel shoulder width, right? Feet are gonna be pointing directly forward. I'm gonna show you 45 degrees, that's the best way to do this. I'm gonna bend my legs slightly. Then, keeping my dumbbells close to my legs, I'm gonna fold forward. I'm also gonna think about pushing the butt back, right? Try to touch the wall behind you with your butt, okay? Then I'm gonna go row one side, I'm gonna row the other side, and then I'm gonna come back up, okay? I'm gonna fold, squeezing, or rather stretching the, the hamstrings there, one side, the other side, and I'm gonna come back up. Again, push the wall, push the wall, touch the wall with your butt. Okay? One side row, the other side row. I'm on it. Okay? That's the move. Very simple. We've done it before. Let's crank it. Here we go. Give me about another 30 seconds on this. Each rep takes a long time, so I'm gonna give you a little bit longer on this set. Okay? So we got the back, we got the hammies here. Should feel a nice stretch in those hamstrings. If you don't feel stretch in the hamstrings, straighten the legs a little bit. Push the hamstrings back, again, behind you, but just keep a little bit of softness in that knee, okay? Nice and tall, put that winter coat on, right? Zip it up, all right? We're almost there, give me about five seconds, <laughs> okay? Can't count, I'm not so good with numbers. Good, there's three, two, one, time. Good job, okay. So, uh, triceps. Haven't done this one in a while. Let's take those uh, dumbbells, squeeze them together. Take it overhead. Right? Now, let's stagger the stance here. So we've got one foot slightly forward, one foot slightly back. Stretch it overhead, right? And then we're gonna extend the arms like we're pulling that big little broadsword out of the scabbard here. Stretch it back and then extend. Stretch and then extend. That stretch portion is the most important part of the move. So do not neglect it. Keep the elbows close in to your head and um, really let those dumbbells stretch you back, okay? If you wanna do it with just one dumbbell, just hold it around the, sh the shaft of the dumbbell, just right through there, just like that, and extend. Good, give me about 10 more seconds of this guy, and we go back. We're just gonna do these two moves back to back because we only have six more minutes to go on the workout. What are we gonna do? Time, good job. Hold on to your dumbbells, keep them in your hands. Let's get RDL into the row. This time, let's do the row, both arms together. Hold it, row it, release, come up four distinct portions of the movement. So don't turn it into fold and row at the same time. Fold here at the hips, row, down, come back up. When you row, rotate your wrists a little bit here. That will pull your shoulder blades onto your back. Then we get the lats active, which is what we want, right? These muscles here, not these guys here. We do this too much. We're trappy people in life, okay? Typing, okay? We want to keep those shoulders down, the neck long. All right, give me about 10 more seconds on this guy, and then we'll go back to triceps. All right, all right. Six minutes to go, folks. Good. Stop right there. Dumbbells, let's take them overhead. Take a breath. Check your feet. Parallel shoulder width, nice and tall. Squeeze those dumbbells together right overhead. Take it back, broadsword. Stretch the triceps, then extend. Stretch it and extend. That's our move and the dirt on the dumbbells comes down, gets on your face. That's just the way of it, right? All right, keep her going, nice and strong. Make sure you get that stretch, right? Point those elbows to the sky, squeeze those elbows in. That's gonna protect the shoulders, yeah? We want that stretch, we wanna be stretching the tricep from both ends, this end, the elbow side, and the shoulder side. Then we're stretching triceps on both ends, all right? Give me about 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds, crushing it. Yes, very good, and time. All right, let's get one more, and then we will have a couple minutes to, um, to stretch here and uh, 
cool down. So we have our dumbbells, okay? Let's go just a little bit wider with our stance, okay? This is the cool thing. You will feel, when we go wider, we're gonna turn the feet out a little bit. Let me see where you can see me. Turn the feet out just a touch, okay? Now the arms are gonna go inside the legs, okay? Not too much, then I'm gonna row, then I'm gonna come back up, okay? Just a slight change, a slight change in the orientation of the feet, a slight change in how the hips go, slight change where the knees go. Let's go ahead and keep cranking through that. Biceps means two heads, right? The hamstrings are the biceps femoris, right? So when the feet are in one position, they're closer and together, you're working a different head. When they're out, you're working, you're emphasizing a different. Now, both, both heads are active the whole time. But if you just slightly ch change your stance as, you, as you're feeling now, undoubtedly, you're gonna feel a different part of that, the back of that leg, okay? Keep going, give me about 15 more seconds to go on this guy, and then we'll switch over to our triceps, and then we will stretch, and then we're out for the weekend. Everybody's working for the five more seconds. All right. All right, so good, that's good. Enough of that one. Take the hands, squeeze those dumbbells together. Right, one more time, right here. Take it back, stretch, oh yeah. Take that in, then extend. Stretch and repeat. Now look, some people feel a little lower back on this one. And that's because the thoracic spine is a little stuck, okay? So how do we fix that? Stagger your stance a touch. So one foot a little forward, one foot a little back. And then, oh my gosh, you will not feel in your lower back, all right? We want to extend those elbows but we also want to make sure we're flexing the arms and getting a nice stretch in each position, all right? Give me about 15 more seconds on this, and then we'll be out of the hard stuff. Everybody's working for the weekend. Five more seconds to go. Yes, that vocal styling comes free with the price of admission. And time, nice job. Well done, okay, good. Take a quick drink of water. That's six sets without a break. That's very, very good. We cranked on the core, we cranked on the glutes. We did some nice work with the uh, legs the pushing, right? And a little bit of biceps there, yeah? And at the end here, we did some back, we did some hamstrings, right? Some core on that, keeping that, being able to keep that torso straight, and some nice triceps there. So we basically had every muscle in the body, okay? So that's awesome. Let's come on to the back, and for the last two minutes, we will do a little bit of stretch. So, let's come on to the back, here we go. Very easy, very gentle. Ah, that's good. All right, so let's stay on the feet, bend, bend the legs just a little bit, okay? Now, let's interlace the hands behind one leg, flex the foot, okay? I'm laying back here, nice and relaxed. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend, and I'm gonna bend that leg. Extend and bend. All right, now we're into the easy stuff. We don't wanna salt any tissues. Everything should be feeling good by now. Nice and juicy, nice and soft, nice and plump. So for this last portion, just enjoy that newfound flexibility that you have in those joints. Picking up. We also have a nice kind of nerve, um, it's got a horrible term, it's called nerve plus. Dr. Stuart McGill came up with this term. Not the most pleasant term in the world, but it actually feels really good. When we do this, we're actually mobilizing the nerve root around the, uh, the spine, okay, which is kind of cool. So go ahead and again, interlace behind the other leg, extend and bend, extend and bend. Now my head is up because I'm talking to you guys, you guys should just lay your head down. Enjoy that sky a little bit, breathe, extend the leg, straighten the leg, extend it, bend it. Put your mind in your lower back as you work this. Keep that foot flexed. Keep your mind in that lower back. I'm partly doing this for my own sake because it's going to be good for me. Good. Leave that alone. Nice job. Okay. Good. So let's spread out the arms a little bit. Okay. Spread out the arms to the side. And uh, take some breaths right there. Now take the arms, roll them forward. So we're going to take palms and roll them from palms up to palms down. Then you go a little bit further than that, lifting the elbows and the shoulders, you're going to roll the arms a little bit further. Then we're going to go the other way, palms up again, lift the elbows this way. 
Roll the other way, lift the elbows and shoulders, and lift this one. So we're, we're, we're rotating the arms, but feel that it's a rotation, not just of the wrists and the forearms, but also this humerus, this upper arm in the socket. And then that's gonna take the shoulder blades with you. Okay, now do this in opposition. So one arm will roll up, the other arm will roll down. Keep the arms long, the distance between your hands is long. And you will feel that the, the head wants to roll toward that hand that's rolling up. Go ahead and let that happen, that's good. Extending, good. And then leave that alone. Slowly, taking your time, particularly if you're back. Oh, hello. Go up to standing. Okay, and let's just do one little thing, just a pause here, bring the feet together, extend the arms up, put the palms together, bring the palms down to the center of your chest, bring the elbows wide, and just take a little moment to focus and breathe. Feel the pulse points between your fingertips, that's important, right? That sensation, just that simple sensation helps to ground you and just helps to bring the nervous system back to its more neutral state. Breathe and just listen to the sounds around you for a moment, wherever you are. Focus on those pulse points. Deep breaths each time. And then slowly bring your arms down to your sides, step the feet out to something more neutral, and just do a little weight shift in one foot to the other. Gentle weight shift. Take that weight on one foot and then on the other foot. Feel that breath coming back to its more relaxed state, but now you've gone through all this. So you got some energy, you got some life force, some chi floating through the, the, uh, the joints. And bring that pelvis back to neutral right in the center. And we'll call that a workout for the day. Thanks very much, everybody. Appreciate you guys being here. Have a great, great weekend. And I will see you, all of you, <laughs> on Monday at 7.30. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. Peace.